formally I got involved with the center about four years ago when we were approached by a New York State company um, to develop technology that related to making uh, polymer powders with the application that could go into coatings, um, separation processes, etc. And at that time, uh, my research group got much more involved with the CAT. Um, we began developing this technology for this company, and we are now in what is effectively the second round of funded research from the company with, of course, a contribution from the center. Polymer powders are used practically in everyday applications. If you look at a, at a, a metallic product that usually has a coating that protects it, let's say, from oxidation, or the way that it interacts with its environment, it's usually a powder that's been sprayed or coated onto the, uh, onto the particle and eventually consolidated either by heating or by the use of a solvent. So if you've got, as an example, um, a piece of equipment that goes into a car uh, that you want to protect, let's say a strut, a uh, shock absorber strut, uh, or a crossbar in the suspension system, um, the way that you would protect it is by actually coating it with a polymer. The company that we collaborate with is called Micron Powder, and they are what is referred to in the polymer industry as a conversion company. Effectively, they buy raw material, and either through extrusion in their particular case, they convert it from pellets to other forms of plastic. The owner of the company had this idea of using a particular polymer um, for these powder coatings that I mentioned earlier and the, the powders are very difficult to uh, manufacture and that's why they approached C City University uh, for the possibility of setting up this collaboration. The economic benefit uh, for the company itself is very, very large uh, in the following sense. Um, the company gets to leverage the funds that it gives to the institution by having it matched to a certain percentage by the cat. Um, so as an example, if the company um, will support the research at a $50,000 level a year, the CAT uh, will contribute uh, anywhere between 10 to 50% of additional funds that go to the researcher to move the project along. Being a young faculty member, it's extremely important to have um, a place where you can go and learn more about industry outreach, how you interact with industry. I myself have never worked in industry, so it's very difficult to just go out, meet people, and make them uh, fund your projects. And so the CAT is an ex excellent center that allows me to interact with industry partners in an environment where they kind of are, where they also have senior professors and other colleagues around that can support um, my advances towards the uh, industrial collaborators. And so um, it op opens up a lot of opportunities. I was invited to give a talk, for example, recently at a company. And from that, a certain research project discussions have started. Um, and so hopefully in the future, there will be more of that, which will eventually lead to something very similar that Professor Kuz has described, where uh, some of my basic science that I do in my lab is applied to, a, to actually a project that is of relevance to industry and of relevance to a larger application or a larger um, a larger um, process where these materials can be used. Efforts such as the Center for Advanced Technology are extremely important in an academic environment um, for two key reasons. The first reason is it brings to the academic environment problems, uh, makes professors and students aware of problems with industrial relevance that people can tackle and generate solutions. Most times academics have problems not with finding a solution, but identifying the right problem to solve. So I think this interaction is extremely important in that sense. The second interaction, this, the second reason that this interaction is extremely important is because it helps directly our customer base, and the customer base are the students. When you have industry helping researchers, you generate opportunities for these students. And in all honesty, a school is really ranked or looked upon its quality by what its graduates do. And so giving the opportunity to these graduate to these students to conduct research, to, to do developmental work, and potentially at the end of that work have an output where they can go out and contribute to the economic engine, it's extremely important and only is leveraged by a school. I think those two key reasons make 
centers like the CAD extremely important.